Okay, what's up guys? Um, new setup today. Um, I just made a recording where I made a track from scratch, but I couldn't use that one because like the microphone was just recording everything and it sounded kind of fucked up. So I'm doing it with my headphones now and we will start a track from scratch today. Yeah, I think it's interesting for some people to see how I would start a track. Yeah, I have no idea what I want to make. I will just look for a sound and then we will start doing something out of it hopefully Maybe something like this. something like this also sometimes it can um, really help changing the key of the chord progression you just made by one semitone up or two semitones down or whatever to just see how it feels then but I think D is good or maybe let's do F sharp just try to find sounds to layer my chord progression with because then layering is where the things starting to get I did was just layering the lowest and the highest notes with a different sound. They are playing the same notes as them in the main chord progression. Oh, maybe. 
maybe I get a sound which is following those notes. Yeah, now let's see what we can make out of this. We can also make this one unique and just let it play the chords without any melody in it. Maybe something like this. And then this sound will start playing. Let's see if we can find a little vocal sample and splice. What is the what is the key D? Maybe we can actually use that one right here. Okay, and I mean if you start with the sample it actually doesn't matter in which genre you want to shape the track. So in the last months I really like to do like offbeat trancey stuff, but you can really go anywhere, anywhere where you want to go. We could make it faster and go to drum and bass or a bit slower and make a trap beat out of it or stay at that BPM and make trends or proggy. It really doesn't matter what you do after you created the sample. I actually like that clap. really tight but we can also layer our drum sounds of course and I will definitely do that with that clap so let's set a bass and that's just like a basic trans patch which you can use nothing special here yeah let's go for it so now the thing is the bass will always be playing when the kick isn't here's the kick and there will be the bass and what's also important is that the bass will follow the chord progression Yeah, without the sample it sounds like this. It 
It's also important that this part of the bass is in mono as well as the kick. So you will hear the difference. Maybe. Let's I think you can hear it in the beginning. There's a little bit of that click sound now. So what I just did is um, I sidechained this part of the sample. I really like to do that because in the main drop when the bass hits you don't want to have that much going on in the sample part. So I sidechain it and it gets a lot more groovy eye, in my opinion. And let's do that with that as well. So this is just a sidechain plugin which I really like to use. I think I've used it in my first video as well. You can hear that the sample already fits in well better with the bass than it did without the sidechain. Without. With. If there's this, this makes so much difference in my opinion. And now if we turn back everything on. Also for trance and techno tracks you can't miss a 909 hi-hat, you can't miss this, great. That's also just um, a hi-hat but that one is opened and the other ones I added earlier were closed hi-hats, so they have a more open sound. Yeah, okay, I think that would be it for today. I don't want to make the video any longer. And yes, if you like the track or if you like what you're seeing, make sure to subscribe or I don't know, let me know what I can do better. Still, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a guy who likes to make music. So yes, let me know what I can do to improve. And yeah, let me know and have a great day.